It's a bit late for coffee, but I have not felt very good today. And it's just what I need to give me some energy. So I'm going to drink me some coffee. And um, I'm going to talk about some things. But I will be right back in like a few seconds. I have to um, add a little bit of maybe milk to this or something to uh, cool it down because it's still a bit too hot. But anyways, um, hopefully you can still hear me. We'll find out once I upload the video. But um, I was going to talk about the different types of videos that could be you know, created for the channel um, and when I started the channel. So the first time that uh, I started drawing this channel back in 2017. Um, I was just uploading with a webcam. And at the time I had this really cheap phone. And I couldn't really record anything to upload with it. Let me test this coffee first. Still a little bit, little bit too hot, but it's good. But when I um, first started uploading videos, when I was using that webcam, it was a, it was a, it was an okay webcam. Um, I mean, I still have it. It's good. It's just that. Well, I guess it's actually pretty good. But maybe when I compare it to my phone or DSLR, then um, completely different quality. But it's what I had, and I just started. And now I've been uploading videos just by using my phone. It's more convenient. I can just sit down and talk about something or just record something while I'm drawing. And I was thinking about how I was getting, I wanted, I always wanted to get better at video editing, you know, making good videos, time lapse and all that. But I think sometimes I will start overthinking it, overanalyzing it. Um, you know, we start worrying about um, if, you know, the, maybe the amount of views that you get, if uh, people even watch it, they watch time, you start looking at all the different analytics and everything for the video, and then you just get too caught up in being worried about, you know, is the video doing good, and instead just enjoying the creation process, so... There's going to be times where I upload a lot of short videos throughout the day and um, there's still going to be obviously a lot of drawing going on, streaming, time lapse and everything. But I like making these short videos um, kind of on the go, on the spot, whatever comes to my mind because it's convenient and it's a lot faster and I can get more done and upload more quickly than having to take it, put it on my computer edit that, you know, edit everything on there, the audio and all that, and then upload it. Whereas now I can just press record, save the video, then upload. And it makes it to where I have more time to actually draw. Um, so there will be more videos and there will still be streaming, as I said, streaming and time lapse. It's just that whatever comes in my mind that I have to talk about, I'll just push record and start talking about it. But, um, just kind of wanted to mention that in case anybody was wondering why I've been uploading so many of these little short videos. Time for another, another sip. It tastes pretty good. I didn't put that much coffee grinds in it because I didn't want too much caffeine this late in the day. Um, and when I first started making videos, I had a hard time just sitting in front of the camera and talking about anything. It felt really awkward. And I, when I go back and look at them, I looked nervous. I looked like I didn't know what to talk about. And um, I was too worried about making everything perfect, trying to um, you know, make every part of the video as best as possible. I mean, the whole goal of why I draw, well one, 
it helps me a lot with um, you know dealing with any stress, anxiety, or anything that bothers me. Two, it's been something I've worked on my whole life. Third reason would be it's something I enjoy. So as long as I get back to you know, the the roots of that and focus on those things, and I think that you know, whatever else happens, just happens, and um, maybe you're having some issues with that, that you might have a goal or something, but you're setting you're setting your sights on something that is uh, not really what should be the main focus. And maybe someone might need that uh, to look at you know, the end goal of it to actually even get started. Like let, you might start something and then change your mind and realize this, this isn't what you want to do. But you you learn through the process of doing that and putting in the hard effort and the work doing it that it's possible to do a lot more than what you originally thought. And for me, I didn't think that I would get to the point where I am now with video editing um, or with a lot of my drawing. Um, so I've improved a lot. And even though some things might not have worked out, I do enjoy and look forward to every day the process of drawing and just getting a drawing done, seeing what it looks like when it's complete. And um, hopefully the videos I make help everybody else to realize that even if you don't have a lot of friends, you have no friends, you don't have any family, uh, no one believes in anything that you do, that at the end of the day, it's really just up to you. And even if everybody around you believes you or thinks that you can do something, if you don't make the effort to do it or try, then you're just never going to accomplish it. But, um, kind of going off topic there, but I guess it all kind of, you know, it all kind of goes together. And, um, I had just a couple of thoughts I had while I was uh, making my coffee. So, let me know what you think. And if you like these short little videos where I ramble on about stuff, um, just let me know. But I'm going to finish this coffee up. And you have a good day. I'll see you later.